Gilmore Girls is the breaking bad of small-town horny teenage girl escape fantasies. If you crave the charming smile of sexy bad boys, idolize ethnically homogenous bumfuck nowhere light academia, or consider studying algebraic geometry, then you should definitely also consider checking out this show. Study the show, even. Gilmore Girls is an American comedy drama television series in seven long seasons. It's an important artifact that aired from 2000 to 2007. That is to say, from the peak of civilization, according to the Matrix, to the arrival of the iPhone, aka the nail on the coffin of humanity. The show was followed up by four standalone episodes in 2016, the start of the Trump era. Rory is the quintessential oldest of the millennials. Her mom is the oldest Gen X. The series portraits the slow but inevitable downfall of one supernaturally fast yapping, bookish, painfully gorgeous Rory Gilmore. In this short review, we're not focusing on her fuckable, equally witty mom Lorelai, nor, for that matter, any of the filler characters of the show. As an aside, note that Lorelai rhymes with Nikolai. In essence, Rory is like every other pure mathematics student. The story goes like this, a baby is born, a benevolent spirit with academic potential. Rory is the comfy feminine and she is smart enough so that her reach for the stars appears plausible. Then again, in her case, it's not quite clear if those ambitions were there if her mom didn't crave it. Rory also wants to be a positive force in the world, and because she reads, the showrunners express this as her wanting to be a journalist. Well then. With time, the show goes on trying to sell the women's bourgeois attitude as something endearing. It is suggested that Rory is good, and her questionable actions just a product of her environment. Both the lazy and the overambitious are beneath her. The women eat pizza every night, but stay hot. Everybody around them is fat and plain, curiously. Except the thirst trap boyfriends, of course. But the showmakers dare to play out the main character's life a bit more bluntly, more realistically. As the seasons go by, it becomes clear that studious Rory ultimately lacks focus and self-reflection. Indeed, the time she blindly wastes on drama is perplexing. She goes from showing off how she reads low Russian classics, to showing off that she's the one who can get all the quality dicking. If you don't get any dicking or the equivalent, then consider this a metaphor for hedonism. Video games, or whatever. Nobody likes a person who keeps on making terrible decisions but stays in denial about it. The 2016 episodes portraits the characters ten years later. Rory's life has completely fizzled out. Like the life of many students of mathematics, and like almost all algebraic geometers and the like. Students might be focused, but few are focused sufficiently. Empirically, the more they are, the more likely it is they make bad decisions. That's a tragedy, not a drama. And don't get me wrong, algebraic geometry is amazing. Something can be interesting, and pretty, and distinguish itself and distinguish also you. This review is about how it affects people. I don't question your motives. But we also only have one life. Take an example when you're given one. The path Rory's wasted life takes is not a statistical outlier. Quite the opposite. But the portrayal of this story on screen is. The showmakers must be praised for not refraining from breaking their own marvel. The tale of Rory lingers in our memory exactly because of their bold decision.